What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here and welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about DirectX 12, what it means for Xbox One, and I want to talk about some of the speculation. There's a lot of people right now talking about DirectX 12. DirectX 12 was heavily talked about at Microsoft's Windows 10 event. And uh, the, the event itself had a lot of great stuff, including DirectX 12. They talked about the potential for higher uh, graphical gaming, that uh, the Xbox One will perform better. And, and uh, I think they said like a 50% graphical uh, power boost to the Xbox One. I know that was at least speculated on. And uh, there's a lot of people with opinions, a lot of people out there who are just fanboys, a lot of people out there who are upset, get emotional about video games. And uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about it a little bit. Now, some of you out there might not know what DirectX is. DirectX is a set of low application programming interfaces, they're called APIs. Uh, they provide Windows programs with high performance hardware, accelerated multimedia support. DirectX enables the program to easily determine the hardware capabilities of your computer, and then it sets the program parameters to match. So basically, it figures out what you have on your hardware and how to access it in the easiest way and it makes programs run smoother. So a lot of people don't know. A lot of people think that DirectX 12 is like a graphics enhancer or a graphics chip. No, it actually it figures out what you got and it best utilizes the system that you have in place. That's what DirectX is. And so I wanted to actually wait and find out from someone on the ground floor what they thought about DirectX 12 for the Xbox One. And uh, Phil Spencer actually came out on his Twitter very recently and spoke on this. And uh, I'll leave a, a link in the description for you guys to uh, check out the full article. But, quote, this is what Phil Spencer said, quote, On the DirectX 12 question, I was asked early on by people if DirectX 12 was going to dramatically change the graphics capability of the Xbox One. And I said it wouldn't. I'm not trying to rain on anybody's parade, but the CPU, GPU, and memory that are on the Xbox One don't change when you go to DirectX 12. DirectX 12 makes it easier to do some of the things that Xbox One is good at, which would be nice, and you'll see improvements in games that use DirectX 12, but people ask me if it's going to be dramatic, and I think I answered no at the time, and I'll say the same thing now, unquote. So, basically, the head of Xbox, Phil Spencer, says, DirectX 12 will not dramatically improve the Xbox One's gaming performance, graphics, frame rate, things of that nature, because the CPU and the GPU are still basically the same. The memory is still the same. And so I think that's kind of a definitive answer for a lot of the guys out there, fanboys, who think the DirectX 12 is just going to completely turn the Xbox One into like a transformer. It'll grow wings and have a halo and just be the king of the street. It's just not the way it is. Um, I'm happy to see DirectX 12 is actually going to improve the Xbox One's gaming. I think the Xbox One is fine the way it is now, personally. I don't think that uh, the graphics of the Xbox One fall, you know, to the wayside the way a lot of people make it seem like it does. I think the games on it look phenomenal, um, and uh, I think it's going to stay that way. I think if Xbox One can continue to uh, pull in fans with their lower price Xbox One and good first, first party titles and exclusives, I think people are going to really gravitate toward the Xbox One. I think they're going to do really good in 2015. I want you guys to comment. Let me know what you think about DirectX 12. Let me know what you think. Is DirectX 12 just what Phil Spencer says it is? Or is it like a genie in a bottle when you rub it, it comes out, turns your Xbox One into Air Force One? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for all the support, guys. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.